Usually, businesses close when times are bad. But in Concord, economic growth is causing a number of longtime businesses to shut their doors. Many of them are inside a commercial space on Willow Pass Road and Galindo Street. KPI X5's John Ramos explains what's going on. Downtown Concord is experiencing an atmospheric river of change, and there are those who are afraid it could lose its identity because of it. This is Todos Santos Plaza, some say the heart of the city of Concord. In summer, thousands flock here to the farmer's market and outdoor music series, and the businesses that surround it do well. But tomorrow won't be a good day for the Bangkok kitchen. This is going to be a sad day and it'll be a last day. Owner Peter Bumpenboon will close his Thai restaurant after 25 years because he can't afford a rent increase from $5,800 to $11,000 per month that came from his building's new owner. His customers wish progress didn't come with such a high price tag. Sometimes change is good, but there's a lot to be said about places that have been here for many years. The entire block that Bangkok Kitchen shares is also changing. On the corner is a Chipotle. Here, a new burger place. There, a vegan cinnamon roll shop. All fine businesses, but a lot of change in a short period of time. These are private leases, and so we can collect more information, but we cannot dictate who gets to go into what space. But a citizen action group called Concord Communities Alliance believes the city has worked hard to attract new business with little regard for what's already here. The priority is single focused. It's money, it's bottom line, and the, they're not taking into, the, the decision makers are not necessarily taking into consideration how to maintain local flavor, local culture. But what's really got people buzzing is news today that another business, Half Price Books, is also closing due to increasing rent. The word is the Bank of America may move across the street from its current location. The bookstore is a unique draw for people visiting the plaza, and many consider it a keystone business for the area. People can come here, get a book, go to the books or go to the, the coffee shop and read their book. But who needs another bank here? Perhaps it's the natural evolution of a city, or maybe just a sign of the times. But Peter says closing his beloved restaurant while bittersweet has taught him what's really important. No, I didn't angry. I'm happy. Why? Yeah, because people support that. Yeah. People show up, you know. People love who I am. It's a delicate balance for Concord, keeping it economically vital while keeping the things that people love about the city. In Concord, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Now, the restaurant closes tomorrow, the bookstore sometime in the spring, but the city says that it wants to find both businesses new locations nearby.